<coughs> Probably not the season you were hoping for so far. Currently in the middle of a 10-game losing streak. What do you? What does this team have to do to, to right the ship this week? Um, well, first of all, we have to get to uh, healthier. Um, we're, we're, we have some people who are kind of dinged up right now. Um, trying to run practice yesterday with without both of our setters. Um, that's a little tough. So, you know, that's the first thing. Um, and then the second thing is we have to... Um, We've played some really good volleyball, but we have to be much more consistent with that. Just talking about the, the injuries and stuff, obviously, we've had some injuries. Chanel Washington was one of the players that uh, was battling through injuries. How tough is it? Uh, you know, Obviously, it's a pretty young team, so you're putting players who maybe don't have all that experience in the starting lineup and, and trying to get there. How has the team responded to trying to deal through those injuries? You know, they're, they're really, they're still battling, um, still battling hard, and, and uh, you know, I have couple kids that put in different spots and um, you know they, they just they go out there and keep trying to to fight and get better and, and uh, break through the wall. One of the losses uh, the score jumped out pretty easily the 25 to 2 that's, that's got to be a tough loss for, for the players to take and for you to take as well. How does this team keep its head up after getting dealt with you know, a loss like that? Well I think the way you do it is you, you come back harder you know um, it's Thing with sports is it's it's uh, the score is not uh, written down until the final you know the last serve and so you know nothing's been put down for our matches coming up this weekend so we're gonna go out and we're gonna try to win. So let's talk about those matches. How, what is uh, let's talk about the, the opponents. Obviously, what do they bring to the table and what do you expect out of them? Well, first of all, um, Dominguez Hills they, they've improved tremendously. Um, they have. Uh, they have pretty good balance, but they have one kid, a middle hitter, who is who is really standing out this year. Um, and and uh, you know they their setter is a critical position. She's playing awfully well also. So it, it, they're just playing much better um, it, all the way around than they have in the past. One of the games is uh, breast cancer awareness night, right? Uh, okay. Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, obviously, it's a great uh, a great thing you guys are doing. Just what's the impact of that, and, and, and how do you guys feel about going into that, uh, that special night? Well, you know, I think it's just a chance to bring some some more awareness to the issue, and and hopefully more support, and, and uh, you know, it's something that affects so many of us, uh, if not directly, then those of us around or those around us, you know. So I think it's it's a good chance to bring some some more attention to that. Some questions I have, Coach. How did how did struggle or how do you get through with no setters if you don't have a setter I can't imagine football going without a quarterback uh, <laughs> what, what do you do in that position hope they're healthy come come game time or you got to find yeah. out you know who who's setting I think they volleyball. I think they will be healthy um, I'm hoping uh, you know they're both really day to day right now and, and um, you know so you just have to see there's certainly other things we can work on but but that you know it's a, certainly an issue how do you keep the team focused and you know eyes on the goal here? But you're going through a ten game losing streak, making sure they're ready to go to practice and focus and try to put an end to that. We we keep trying to focus on the next match, you know, and, and uh, the next match is what's important, not what's happened, not what's beyond, but um, you know, just the next match. We we're talking to CJ, and you know, he's had some injuries, and a lot of young players have been forced to step up, and you know, the record's probably not going to reflect it this year. But I hope those girls are getting good, valuable time right now, and will pay dividends in the future for this program. Um, I think so. I think you know we have some good young players, and, and um, you know they're 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 pretty hungry. Um, you know this experience out on the field or out on the, out on the court for us, you know, should should help them quite a bit. You know, they, they, there's some kids. There's some um, techniques and things like that, and shots, uh, selection, things that, that they can get better in. But um, you know they, they play hard and they want to they want to get out there. Last question.